Hey, all you can do DIYers. I'm your host, Anna Katrina, and today I'm gonna show you how to troubleshoot slash fix um, this part of your fill valve, which is the cap. Um, what I'm gonna be particularly looking at is the valve seal, which is the rubber part. Now, you may be able to kind of hear it, but there is this slight hissing noise that's coming out of it, and there is water that's leaking from around it, which lets me know that either there's some kind of sediment or rock that's blocking the seal from doing its job, or the seal is damaged itself. So what you first wanna do is you want to turn off the water at your angle stop uh, so that we can start this project, which is down here. Go ahead and turn that off, okay. Now, if you didn't do that, um, this, that line, and this is under constant pressure. So if you tried to take off this cap, it would be like a geyser that was going everywhere. So make sure you tune that off. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take this cap and you're gonna turn this whole thing. This cap doesn't pop off. I think that's what your most people's inclination is to do. You turn this whole thing counterclockwise. So turn it to the left about an eighth of a turn. You feel it stop like it has it can't go any it can't turn any farther so you're going to take that off now for the purpose of the video i'm going to detach the cap from the arm which is the lever that controls the float from going up and down that's not necessary for when you need to change it yourself i'm just doing it so that you can see what i'm doing easier and i'm going to push these and pull at the same time oops that fell to the back okay so that's what this looks like underneath that cap. That's the rubber seal that I was talking about. When you take it off, sometimes that you can see that it's uh, damaged or there's nicks in it, or it's just not going as, you know, it's not sealing as much as it should. And this actually looks pretty decent, except it's not sitting fully now that I look at it. Okay, so I'm gonna set this to the side for now. And then what I want you to see is inside here, um, a lot of the times there are rocks or sediment inside here in particular. So when you have this all taken apart, make sure you get all this debris and really check if there's anything in there. What you can also do is you can turn on your angle stop right now. Obviously do it slowly because remember it's under pressure and at full blast, it's gonna be a geyser. So you can put a cup or something over here so that you know this um, the water doesn't shoot out everywhere and it can really push any sediment out. I'm just gonna do it a little bit so that you can see it kind of bubble up and over. You can run that and like I said, you can do full blast if you want, okay. So I ordered a um, fill valve seal and that came in. So I'm gonna go ahead and take off the old one. Just pop it off. Okay, so that's what that looks like on the inside. Here is the new one, almost looks identical. <laughs> Snap that back on and into place. Okay, make sure that looks good. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and set the cap back down. Now I'm gonna tighten it by going and pulling clockwise about an eighth of a turn. Okay, and like I said, it only, it only lets you go so far as you want. I'm gonna attach the arm and lever back. Perfect, have that snap in. And then I'm gonna go ahead and slowly turn the water back on. Okay, perfect. So that stopped the noise and that stopped the water from coming out as well, which is awesome because that was the job that I intended to do for it to happen. Um, a little trick that I just wanna say, if you're new at doing projects or anything with plumbing or I guess any project in general, um, take pictures and photos of steps in between everything. So if you're not familiar how to put it back together, you know you're putting it in the right way because sometimes just inverting something like that um, will make it not work, like the seal in general and 
you'll get super frustrated. But um, yeah, I hope you learned stuff from this video and you saw how easy it was for you to replace this all on your own and for only a couple dollars. A thumbs up, subscribe, share the video, and I will see you next time. Bye.